Welcome to Casa Loma. I'm Nick DiDonato, President and CEO of Liberty Entertainment Group. Casa Loma means house on the hill, and this is a house on the hill overlooking all of Toronto. Casa Loma was built in 1910 by Sir Henry Pellet. The castle's a very large property with 70,000 square feet and 98 rooms. Sir Lennox designed and developed the castle, who was Toronto's greatest architect at the time. Sir Henry Pellet was responsible for almost 25% of Canadian economy when he built this castle. He uh, was responsible for bringing electricity to Toronto. Incredible entrepreneur uh, who built himself a dream castle. Sir Henry Pellet was a huntsman, so to reflect that period, we have the tiger rug in his room. Well, Sir Henry Pellet was also a romantic. He uh, really loved his wife, uh, Mary Pellet, and uh, the story is that he built this castle for her. There's quite a few interesting pieces throughout the castle, secret doorways and passageways. Uh, an example of that is behind his fireplace. He had a secret panel, which opens up into a cupboard. Unfortunately, he never finished the castle. Sir Henry Pellet ran into some difficult times. In 1910, the Ontario government declared that it would be illegal for anybody to harness natural wonders and to sell it to people. And they decided that electricity would be free for the people and they would create their own electrical company. So he went from being the richest man in Canada to losing everything. So in the early 1930s, he lost the castle to the city of Toronto. We are here in the uh, round room, one of the most uh, spectacular rooms in the uh, castle itself. It is at the base of the tower of the castle. This is an interesting artifact because it's from Friday, June 1924. And it's a photo of auction of the century where everything in Castle Loma was auctioned off because Sir Henry Pellet lost his fortune. Well, interestingly enough, this picture depicts some furniture which is in our round room. Uh, the chairs here are Louis the 16th original pieces and they were part of Sir Henry Pellet's antique collection. And now we have them back at Castle Loma. Here on the tower you have the most spectacular view of Toronto because it's a 360 degree view right around north and south and you get to see the complete downtown with, with the CN Tower. This is a photo of Sir Henry Pellet in 1909 who had one of the first cars in Toronto and the interesting story is he tried to drive it his first day and crashed it into the wall because he didn't know how to use the brakes. Welcome to uh, Blue Blood Steakhouse here in Toronto at Casa Loma. This is one of the most uh, significant rooms in the castle. Blue Blood is, is a name that we've chosen for the castle because it's an homage to Sir Henry Pellet. He wanted royalty to come to the castle. All of the woodwork is original. Uh, all the work was done in S Scotland. Toronto bleeds blue with the Maple Leafs blue, the Toronto Argonaut blue, the Toronto Blue Jays. So Blue Blood Steakhouse in Toronto reflects Toronto in this beautiful castle. Our vision was to engage Torontonians and people of all walks of life. So we created escape games which actually happen in Casa Loma. It's also immersed in history because when Casa Loma in World War II was used as a covert operation uh, for spy technology creating sonar. So they closed off the stables and had the development of sonar technology here at Casa Loma to help win the war. It was downstairs underneath here underground. In the month of October here in North America, we have Halloween. Well, Casa Loma is a perfect backdrop for a Halloween theme. We have Halloween Legends of Horror, which recreates some of the original monsters and the iconic villains of the past in movies and brings them back to a castle. From a personal perspective, having the city choose my organization, my company, as the operator of the castle it gives me a sense of pride. It is not just about running a business, it's about preserving 
an iconic heritage piece for the city of Toronto and doing the right things to preserve it for in perpetuity for the future. I'm not only representing my company, I'm representing Toronto and Canada as a whole to the rest of the world.